so what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel here today and welcome to the quarry this is a brand new horror game i just found out about this game like a week ago and um it actually looks pretty good i have not seen or read anything about it so it's gonna be totally fresh for me so guys without further ado welcome to the quarry this is the introduction to the quarry I, so they play ariana grande after rip no i'm not about that shit all right, so route 919, 2350, June 24th, Alara. Or Alara. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. Begins with an L. License copyright strike. Lesbians? There you go. Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. <clears throat> That's debatable. Ooh. Up on the oh yeah, shit! Yeah, honey, nice catch. I got the. Thank you. We still got no yeah, signal the roads though. Are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh right, that's where we're going. I lost track like two hundred miles ago. Two hundred miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. That's right. Let her know. Hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pocket. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Is it kind of crazy how, like, games have evolved in, like, quality and everything? Like, the game is fucking insane. So... Uh, voila. Map. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are. Oh, it's kind of one of those games where you just. On maps. Have you seen okay. any signs for it? The road, bitch. Hey, eyes on the road. Oh. Yep, look what I told you. Oh. All right, Blaze, see some shit. Damn. Oh, Granny in the backseat. Stop the car! Dodge that shit. Oh, I hate that bitch. Oh my god. Now we're really fucked. Now we're really lost. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? Was no bear. No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? I mean, didn't you see did the shit? I mean, she was in the back seat with us. I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. I mean, we didn't hit the bitch. She morphed right into the back seat. She's definitely fine. What is it? I really have this car up. That's because the hill coming down, though. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my uh the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Let's check out this toolbox. Oh, this is either late night or early morning. Like, er, uh, late night is actually considered early morning, right? All right, so walk around. Um, he said grab the toolbox, but there's a light up front. Oh, this is fucking. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. All right. I get that left stick as the walk around. So this is um 
kind of the same as the dark picture games. So eight is Snoop. Let's 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 Snoop real quick. I'm I'm a little demon. I'm sorry. I mean, he's not really snooping if he rejected. Max, thank you for interest in all oh, you. Oh, he got rejected at a university. Why didn't you tell me? I got you. I don't see how that's yeah. important at all. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Hey, give him the light, man. He didn't tell you to stop, did he? What's this? Oh, shit, it wants us to look. Oh, bitch, doing a stinky like behind the tree. Oh, my gosh, you crept the other tree, too. Where are you going? Just over here. Granny was cripping. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Uh, compliant, hurry up, or you are you my boss? Oh, uh, let's just be compliant. God, Max, hurry up! Don't rush him, man. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, but if they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just I heard something. Okay, like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check I mean, it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Let us down. Okay. Luck with the car. All right. So I guess we're gonna go investigate the freaking granny that was crippin'. All right, they want us to go this way. Oh God, they were right. They did a really good job with the, the soundtrack in this game. I'll give them that. What's this? Sideshow Spectacular. So, some mu magician thing? With some old ass lady or man on the cover of it? So those are probably like clues. Oh God, left or right, left or right, left or right. What's left? Oh shit. Suitcase? A straight jacket? What is this? So escape apology trunk. A trunk filled with strange devices that's uh, of an escapist, uh, perhaps a relic travel show that must have passed through the area. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It was a straight jacket. I've seen Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent. That's some Houdini shit right there, I think. I don't know a lot about magic. So there's a lot of clues that you could find throughout the game. Oh shit. What the hell? Sideshow act. Broken cage. Dog boy. What is This game definitely gives you like Friday the 13th like movie vibes, you know? They did a really good job with it. This is too weird. I don't know if that's kind of like what they were going for for this game. But uh, if we get a Friday 13th game that's just like this. Silence. Oh, she's cripping around the shit. She said Silas or Silence. Shh. 
I get it. Silence. Where do you want me to go, though? Bro, I think we're in the thick of it. We're in the thick of it. Oh, she looks creeped out, huh? Oh, yeah, you're scared of shit. What happens when you try to be all courageous and brave? That's what you get. Oh, shit, she's right there. That wasn't that creepy. Definitely said silence. Oh shit. Down. Up. I got the quick times. Well, that makes sense. She got up there quick with no help. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. He said it's a woods. That ain't no animal. There's some lady out there. Huh? Doing some shit. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, mm. come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting mm -hmm. out of here. Mmm, mm mmm. Are you kidding me? Mmm. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, man. Right, you're not helping me. Right? Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, enough. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. No, it ain't your fault. Okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck. Oh, my God. My heart just exploded. Roll it down. Why does he got blood on his God, neck? Officer, how are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. No, no bad damage. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Um, no. We just went for a little cruise. Yeah. Map told us to go left and we went downhill. Something jumped out. We served off. We served off. Evasive maneuvers. Featuring Jason. Uh, well, we were just driving and it's really, really dark out here. And, um, what? I don't know. We, we must have had like a, a pothole or something because we swerved and now here we are. I mean, these roads are really not in great shape. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, uh, Justin, what's that mean? Sir. I don't care what he believes. Fuck this guy. Car running. Sir? What does that mean? Is this guy like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. I mean, we did swerve off the road. I mean, her story was a little... Oh, he's got a wench. Her story was a little off, but... I mean, she played it out well. folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night uh taking in the sights we're heading to camp well he didn't believe us the first time so let's just see if he we're believes us the second time we're summer camp we're new counselors why does he got blood on his neck one night early no no we know um but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out you know i mean they know we're coming we called ahead and to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. 
It's your fault, my guy. This guy definitely is like gives me weird You're not vibes. Make it to Hackett's quarry. Not tonight. It's fucking motel. Weird. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night. Okay. Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming, and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Yep. Yep. We're just gonna go there right now. Yep. Yep. We'll head to the motel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Fair enough. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Why is he so uneasy? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna get out this car and jaw kick your shit. I mean, he did get us out of there, so. I'm not gonna be, uh. Okay. So, we. Are right about here. This guy's on roofies. Look Our at him. Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Oh, you fucked up. Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Look how happy she is. She got his ass. You got his ass, didn't you? You saw that. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a statement? Have a good night. No statement needed. He has no case. Yep, walk your ass back to your car, my guy. He got the Mustang out. That boy had a wench on there and everything. Why is this guy just sitting there? Why are we just sitting here? Let's go. Thanks for our help. Let's not piss him off. Let's... That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be gone, bro. Fuck that. <sighs> Alright. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. No, not Are slick, sure bitch. You just get to the motel and just listen yeah, to this guy's advice. Yeah, you probably should, I to be honest. really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? Yeah. No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the I road, mean, shall we? That's what I thought. It sounds terrible too, but yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kinda into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> you talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? 
Let's Wait, just leave. Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat the car. Max. Yeah, let's just, let's just leave. On. Let's just leave. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. Why does she want to be here so bad? I'm sorry. Just do it in the morning, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. Is anybody home? No, clearly there's not. Let's just leave. Don't do that. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Yep. All right, let's see if we can find any clues around this, uh, this, uh, cabin. Owl. A barred owl. I know that. I, I got a whole bunch of them where I live. Um, anything this way? I don't know. If they didn't show in the introduction of this game if there was, like, any clues that were, um, like, premonitions from other games. So I'm not seeing anything on this side. I'm just wasting time. Just go down. What the fuck is that down there? Is that a vault or a... What is that? Dude, I do not want to go down there, bro. Because it... The lights are shining right down there. Tree house, fire pit, tree walk. The jetty. The boat house. The lodge. So we're at the lodge. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Why did it, dude? That that sounds like it's like I don't know, like a sign or something. Like no pun intended, but oh my god, we gotta go this way, don't we? Oh, what the fuck, dude? That does not look good. It's locked. Let's not investigate. I don't like how, like, Snoopy she is. Like, she just has to investigate every single thing and look at what happens. Hey. Hey, are you okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. They're not even talking to you. They ran off. That means they don't want to be bothered. Purely. Especially if there's a lock on it and it's not your property. I guess they'll just leave it alone. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is no. Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. They're not talking to you, though. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. Right, no, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. Yeah, see no one there. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. There there was definitely someone there. Definitely okay. not. Okay. So... I didn't see anything. Take wrenches. You could break the lock with both of these. Fuck it. We'll do a wrench. Because you can just beat the shit out of a hammer. You sure? I saw it online. Hammer time. Nah, confident. Yeah. Saw it online. I hope you didn't. I hope it don't fucking open. Only thing you gotta do is you put them together and just... Literally pry them apart. Oh my god. Yep. Like, fuck. Damn. You need a hand? I mean, yeah. I assume if we would have taken the hammer too, she'd probably just beat the shit out of it and it would open anyway. And look at her legs. Mm. <coughs> Some black screens on this game.
All right. I don't know why we're going down here. You've seen Evil Dead, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? The way I'm seeing it is there's no way of avoiding anything that happened throughout here. The the beginning of this game. There's no way you can avoid it. Like she did they want us to just go and investigate. Like we can't just go and I'm just you know, I'm scoping it out. Just scoping it out. I mean I don't blame you. Ian. Oh fuck. Hold on, Ian. Hold on, buddy. We really shouldn't be down here. Yes, I get it. You want me to pick up the goddamn collar? A bloody collar. Okay. I don't really care about all that. Who discovered? If that ain't a sign, we should get the fuck out of here. Max? We gotta go. We just go. Let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh my god. Maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here. How do you see that and not want to leave? Hey. I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I am too. I think our imagination. Shit. Max? Dude. Max. Oh, he's fucked. Max. Guess what? Help. Help him. Come on, get up. Don't just sit there and just look at her. Look at her. She's just in I disbelief. Need to lie. Help him. Help him. Help him. Fuck it. She. She's the reason why you're dead. Have chosen. What's that mean? Go. Go, Max. You gotta put some effort into it, bro. There you go. There we go. No! Oh shit. Oh. I mean, fuck it. There's no way we could have avoided that. I don't, I don't think. That bitch is dumb, bro. Like, oh. Fly me to the moon and mm. let me play among the stars. Let me know what spring is like. She got him killed. I'm assuming that's just the introduction. Yep. Crazy. They did a really good job with their cutscenes. Like, she looks really good. to the show we are friends aren't we yeah i've waited for you i've waited yes so i do hope our time together proves enlightening 
There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Go figure. Yes. Yeah. And terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If oh, I gotta find cards? Me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Yeah, I didn't. Harder. Only oh. you can find them. Okay. I mean... There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, okay. I mean, now we know that we need to find some sort of cards for this lady. Oh shit, that was just the prologue. Now we're into the juicy shit now. So chapter one, Hackett's Quarry forever. Agates Quarry Summer Camp. Bye. Oh shit. Ladies. So August twenty second, June like Jacob. It? Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, cynical, they'll get over it. Uh, you'll never know. Yeah, you never know. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of, uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the, uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Is that fucking cellar right there? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Oh, God. All right, so here we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I got to get the last bags What's in there. Come on. What's with this thing? It's just... Dylan, closing. please. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Damn, kids are assholes these days. Can I just go in there? Dipshit's bolted it? Really? I mean, would it go figure, right? We gotta do everything ourselves. We're gonna go check the, the cellar door. Like, I don't get it. How could all that stuff have happened and no one has said anything? Or, like, the cop hasn't even closed this shit down. I don't care about what you got going on. I care about this door right here. Wow, there's not even a lock on it or anything. Okay. Well, we didn't really get to do much. They locked me out. Who? Who do you think? Ugh, we'll find another way in. 
Use your big boy brain. Great. No one's help, like useful at all. I just gotta do everything my fucking self, don't I? Oh, skill. Yep, that's pure skill. Power of will too. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Well, you're about to go through a lot of it, I think. Show text, so slaughter by sunrise. Where are these little bastards? I made it in. Holy shit, this is a big ass lodge. Let's just open the uh the front door. Oh wow. Oh, they really did bolt the thing. Alright, now we're in. I mean now we're out. Alright, now let's go. Grab the bags now. Just do more work. She's still just standing there. He puts chairs and shit in the stairs. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Uh, mind your own business. What about you? What about you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Uh, I knew it. Uh, sexy, right? Mm. Ah, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Uh, maybe I like it. Just a fling. Oh, I said I mean, it. Seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, oh, my God. See. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, if it doesn't kill you, we'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Don't do it, bro. Just have to find out. One girl ain't worth it, bro. 
Brake, steel line, steel rotor. Oh my god, they make us do it anyway. I'm stealing the rotor arm because if if I break the fuel line where we can't fix it, I at least can put the freaking rotor arm back on there and we can get the fuck out. Have chosen. Oh, fuck. Come on with me, buddy. I'll if we right back tomorrow. Watch us lose no it. No foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, dick. What a dickhead. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, mm. man, good sight. Mm. Freak. Oh. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? <laughs> oh, Ben. Shut up, suck his dick, bitch. At least I get some back off this shit. Hey, friendly. Uh, okay. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now there you go. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. Not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put a little. Yeah, you feel dumb now, huh? Huh? Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. So, Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially... That's definitely Emma answers. right there. High five up top. That's an Emma right there, I swear to God. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Now I know why Jacob was with that. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean. Shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. So, leave bags or break in. Are they that important to us? I mean, it's not really breaking in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. A bear ain't gonna break into a cabin. On three. One. Something's gonna happen, watch. Two. Right as soon as they say three. Three! Ugh. Oh, oh, fuck. The power of power. That's Justin. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. I'm always proud sure of you. Gonna think it was a bear? Oh, I'm stealing God, Jacob's relax. bitch. I'm like stealing his bitch. Someone. All right, well, I'm, just I'm brave like that. I'm sorry. Around. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right, let me just make sure we're not forgetting nothing because I'm not breaking into it again, which I just don't understand why. We just don't close the door on the way out. Place be in the news. Freak show goes. What did I say? Uh, a scrap of local newspaper from the North Kill. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Broken cage. So that shows us about that stuff. Oh, there's something else right here too. I see you. Aww. This was little Izzy's. 
Oh, fuck. I want to play a game. <laughs> Some jigsaw shit. Keep no, let's leave it. Let's fucking leave it. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Path updated. Oh, fuck. Let me see. How do I check the pass? All right, so pass. Uh, Laura and Max. Okay, above this thing, and then down a rabbit hole. View your path. So, Abby chose to help Emma break into the cabin. Um, Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. Abby chose to leave the forgotten toy in the cabin. I mean, I felt like that was the right approach. Jigger moved the rotor arm from the minivan. Yes, he did. I'm gonna do whatever I can to get Jacob back with the girl. Even if I have to do the S word, you guys know what I'm saying? Shrimp. I have to shrimp for that bitch. Y'all know me, I'll do it. God damn, this looks nice. See, make a Friday the 13th game. V2, that's like this. Imagine just playing a game where it's actually like the same, like, exactly how this game is. The exact same thing. The camera, the view, everything. And you just got fucking Jason just going around. That'd be creepy as shit. Where do I go? Abby, where do we go? Oh, she's right there in the golf cart. Thank God. Let me drive that thing. I can whip it with the best of them, though. Sort of got it, Ken. Ready to roll? Uh, not just yet. Let's do it. Wait, why is she not? Yeah, let's go. Let's get the fuck let's out. Of here. Finally. Oh, let me whip this thing. I swear to God, Time I'll put this. To let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> It's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. That's right. Risk it for the biscuit. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tech. Jinkies. I mean, okay, yeah. so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school. Like, I knew it! Away. I, he gets it. Fling? Yep. Yeah, sure. But I get it. That's, that's, some, that's some bullshit. You Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? email. Are you 93? Really? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? No, go fuck, don't. But we're going back. I ain't doing no scenic shit. Should I do scenic shit? <laughs> oh my god. Something's gonna happen though if we go to scenic route. I know it. Oh, let's go back. Fuck that scenic shit. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I don't care. I'm not. For us. Emma thinks you're about a party for isn't going to leave without saying goodbye. Oh, dude. Oh, that's cute. Skirt. Should have hit his dumb ass. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time like ever. Emma. <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. That's why we shouldn't have fucking went scenic group, bro. I don't know what the fuck could have happened if I went that way. I'm ballsy, but I'm not that ballsy. Oh, uh, Hacker Square Summer Camp. Dylan, 1801. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. 
<laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> oh, shit. Here we go. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. So these are all the counselors right here? Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. Nudge. What am I nudging for? Fuck it. Oh yeah. Uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking. She goes and says, "Oh, I could. We could take care of our own." Yeah. Mm. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Uh, mind your own business. Friendly, it's about me. Oh, dude, I want to go so hard on this bitch. It's just a podcast, though, right? Is it about me? I mean, it's a podcast. Like, Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh, my God, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... Paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um... There's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Uh, you should have seen the kids. Yeah. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> You we got to gotta stop being like douchebags stuff, to each other, you know? True. On, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, hey, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Ugh. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. 
Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. Eavesdrop or listen to podcasts. Fuck it. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, so whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> it's getting so, darker. Uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. With these terrified kids that they sent home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway can't. It's kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Where's the keys, man? Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Uh, why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. I, I have a feeling we're not. Good goddamn, are they? Looks like Ryan Reynolds a little bit. Can you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. 
But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. He's in a hurry, man. He wants to get the fuck out of here. I mean, so do I, man. Make sure they're all ready to go. Sure, sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> Fucking let them know. I try not to dwell on the past, man. And then the car ain't gonna Good. start because we because fucking... it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, Took let's the go. thing out. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like... Kaput. Alright, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing oh, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Oh boy, we fucked that up. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. So there's still one for this guy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. We're not going to. Or we could do something else. Uh, what are you talking about? Follow Chris's instructions. What? I mean, they're going to break the rules anyway. No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? 
Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> he didn't see... He did seem freaked out. Uh, yeah, he did. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you. Uh, the group is getting bored of Ryan. You no, know, you shouldn't. Point daddy. Uh, someone's gotta give a shit. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I think I go to the store, dumb.